Welcome back everyone to our channel. Today we're looking at a new AI model that isn't just another small step forward. No, this feels like something entirely different. And the data we're about to go through is, well, it's pretty staggering. So here's how we're gonna break this all down. First, we'll look at what this new AI can actually do. Then we'll get into how its performance is being measured in the real world. After that, the shocking results, the massive economic implications, and finally, what this all means for the future of work. And let's just be crystal clear right from the jump. The evidence we're about to see suggests this isn't just a minor update. We're talking about a fundamental shift in what AI is capable of. Okay, let's dive in. Right, so you really have to forget what you know about typical chatbots that just spit out quick answers. GPT 5.2 is playing a totally different ballgame. I mean, look at this. With just a single prompt, the AI built a complete, fully functional, 3D city destruction game. We're talking destructible environments, different weapons, a scoring system, sound, lighting, the whole shebang. And it did it all in one go. And this is the part that really gets me. That number, 55 minutes. That's the AI's thinking time. It spent almost an hour just reasoning, planning, and building the entire project internally before it delivered the final product. You see, this changes the whole dynamic. This isn't like having a conversation with an assistant anymore. It's more like delegating a project to an autonomous agent. You just give it the task, walk away, and it comes back with a finished, ready-to-run product in a zip file. But, you know, flashy demos are one thing. The real question is, how do we actually measure if this AI is any good at real, economically valuable work? Let's take a look at how they figured that out. Well, that's where something called the GDP-Val benchmark comes in. It's a test designed for one specific purpose, to see if an AI can do the complex jobs that highly skilled humans do for a living, you know, the kind of work that actually contributes to the economy. And the process is incredibly rigorous. They give the exact same project to both an AI and a human professional. Then, senior experts in that field judge both final results without knowing who made what. It's a totally blind, head-to-head -head competition. And we're not talking about just any judges either. These are senior pros from some of the biggest companies in the world, people with, on average, 14 years of experience. They're the ones who manage teams and who know what high-quality work looks like in the real world. Okay, so we've got a credible test in place. Now let's look at the results. And to really appreciate them, you have to remember where we were just a few months ago. So back in September, the very best AIs, they were getting close, but they were still clearly worse than human experts. They were winning or tying less than half the time. Almost there, but not quite. But that was then. The new results from GPT 5.2 Pro, well, they represent one of the single biggest leaps in performance that has ever been recorded. This chart just says it all. GPT 5.2 Pro now wins or ties against human experts 74% of the time. It went from being way worse to overwhelmingly better, and it happened in just a few months. But this, this is the number you really need to pay attention to. In 60% of those head-to-head -head matchups, the expert judges didn't just say the AI's work was as good. They said it was flat-out superior to the work done by the human professional. This is so huge that key people in the field, like Noam Brown from OpenAI, are saying this benchmark is the single most important result from this entire launch. So a massive jump in what it can do is one thing, but when you start to factor in the economics of it all, that's when the picture gets truly disruptive. Think about it this way. Imagine you're a manager with two remote employees. Employee A is a human expert who does great work for a professional salary. Employee B is GPT 5.2 Pro. It delivers better work more consistently for pennies on the dollar. Who are you going to give the next project to? And this isn't some hypothetical. Sam Altman himself pointed out that the cost for this level of AI performance has dropped by nearly 400 times in just one year. The economic pull here is just enormous. So what happens next? You know, a lot of skeptics will correctly point out that these models are, technically speaking, just fancy autocomplete. But does that detail even matter anymore? Whether it understands what it's doing is honestly becoming a bit of an academic debate. At the end of the day, the outcome is what counts. And the GDPVAL benchmark has now proven that the outcome is better than what experienced human professionals can produce. And that really brings us to the final, most important takeaway. This isn't about the tech anymore. It's about the decisions that people will make because of the tech. The managers, the directors, the executives, the people who actually hire and fire, 
now have hard proof that an AI can do the job better. The question isn't if things are going to change anymore. The only question now is how fast. If you enjoyed the video, then drop like and comment and don't forget to subscribe Nexalith AI.